Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I've posted a video. This is Brandon Davis, owner of Davis CPA Group, and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some year-end planning. Here it is right before Thanksgiving, uh, towards the end of November, and so one of the things we, we like to do as we kind of think about year-end is making sure that you know we've thought of any, any last-minute ideas that we can implement to you know reduce tax liabilities and, and you know get us better prepared for, for the filing season and also just you know, re reduce uh, our exposure where we can. And some of the things that I talk to my clients about, uh, particularly around business deduction, is if they're cash basis taxpayers, it's going ahead and accelerating deductions. What I mean by that is if there's anything that you might use up in the next couple of months in the uh, first part of the tax year or the next tax year, it makes sense to go ahead and, you know, write checks and, and pay for those items or prepay for those items as you get to December 31. Uh, supplies, uh, you know, insurance, you know, anything that you're going to have to pay for anyway, and you want to accelerate that deduction to the current year, you can write a check now and, and get that deduction today. However, the other thing you can do is you can defer income. And so if you have a situation where you, again, are a cash basis taxpayer, you're going to pay tax on those dollars as they come into your account. And so you might defer some billing. Maybe there's some projects you've been working on and uh, or some uh, sales opportunities you've taken advantage of and, and uh, want to bill your clients maybe later in the December uh, so that the bill doesn't show up to them until maybe early part of January. So when they write your check to pay you, you don't get it till basically the 2024 tax year. And that's a way to move income out of this current year. One thing to be careful of, though, is, is you got to think about what's going to be happening next year, right? So if 2024 is going to be a bigger income year because you got projects coming up or you've just had significant growth or what have you, then maybe you don't want to push that income into next year. So the other alternative is, is to pull income back into this year. So that would mean not to prepay any of those items. I mean, not to accelerate some of those tax deductions that you're after um, in order to, to benefit uh, uh, this year because you want to manage your tax brackets. One thing I always talk to my clients about is being tax efficient. So one thing you want to make sure you do in, in being tax efficient is managing your tax brackets, understanding where your current tax liability is going to be this year uh, compared to maybe next year and where the tax brackets are going to be. Um, you might have heard in the news that the tax brackets are changing a bit due to inflation. We've had some pretty significant inflation years, which everyone's probably heard of as well. And so it's going to broaden or change where those tax brackets um, sit. And so uh, it might make sense to at least take a look at your numbers. I advise everyone to at least look at where they're at income-wise, kind of understand where they're at before the end of the year, just to give you some last-minute opportunities to either you know, write some checks to spend some money, uh, if it makes sense, uh, or defer some income, or conversely, bring income in if you think that uh, next year might be better. So just a quick video, just want to kind of update uh, some things I was thinking about. I'm going to be presenting more videos a little more frequently just to kind of off-the-cuff conversations to be able to put things out. Uh, certainly would love people to subscribe to my channel and even comment or even post questions that you have because I'm going to start, again, putting more content out and like to respond and, and give people information they might be interested in around tax planning. Uh, also be talking a little bit more about business planning and, and cash flow planning and some of these other things. That's kind of rolling into the new year. Thanks and happy Thanksgiving.